Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. So I had actually already started your reading. I had so many interruptions and I'm like, you know what? I guess spirit is saying that is not your message. So I thought it was a pretty solid message, but anyways, thank you guys for always supporting me. Please continue to comment as you will be put in the raffle for the 9,000 subscriber giveaway while I'll be giving two away my decks. Um, okay, so this is gonna be a new moon reading. The new moon is today, July 20th. And um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and first house placement. So I just wanted to start off with some overall energies here, okay? So um, we did get the Page of Cups. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces. I also feel this could be um, an apology coming your way or some heartfelt message, some confession that someone has, okay? I don't know why I just said confession because I usually don't see Page of Cups like that, but there could be a confession. Uh, I think up until now, this person has only been sending you like telepathically signs, okay? And they're saying that this has been them. So if you've been getting like 1111 or you've seen an animal or you heard a song, it's them, okay? They're saying that is me sending it to you. Uh, but I feel that they may actually come forward with a tangible message. Cancer had this same divine feminine card, the goddess of all that flows, Yam Yamoha. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. So this is interesting because we have like this fish here. There's like something about ocean that could be significant, but I feel that there could be a lot of emotions that arise for you. Now, it's very out of your element that literally a fish out of water, like Cancer New Moon, because you guys are couldn't really be farther from a Cancer energy, but it may be a time to really think about your, you know, your relationships and just maybe people who you are disconnected from. Um, but just to let things flow a little more. I feel like as a cardinal sign, I'm a cardinal sign, you guys are, we like to take control. We like to, um, you know, make moves, but I feel this is saying to maybe just be more with the flow of what's happening. Okay. Just go with that cancer flowy water energy here that's coming up for this new moon. So I'm going to use um, Angelic Revelation 144's uh, Sacred Healing Journey to get some messages um, to clarify what each of these cards mean, okay? So let's see, what is this goddess of all that flows? What is this talking about? Okay, we've got meditation, healing, and finding inner peace. I feel if you guys can maybe take some mental space from thinking about things that you feel like you want to accomplish or you want to make happen or you want to figure out, things will flow more if you just kind of take the space away from it. So it's kind of like that four of energies, four of swords energy, okay? What is this page of cups about? Ooh, moving forward together, hand in hand. So this... I'm getting a feeling this could be a love interest. This could also be a friend. I know hand in hand is more intimate, but I feel someone may come forward in a way where you guys can mend a bridge. This could have been, actually, I'm going to take this card as well with this because this flipped over. And actually, I'm going to take this one as well because these all flipped over these three. This could have been someone who you've been waiting a long time to hear from you've been waiting a long time to move forward from and you were very heartbroken over them and I feel they were heartbroken over you could be a water sign but it doesn't have to be I feel you've been very patient there was no movement we had no movement now we have moving forward so I feel you will end up actually moving forward with this person either with them or someone else but this person's message to you and this person reaching out is going to be the release you need to stop staying frozen in time and waiting on something okay so what is the trust the signs yeah this is like a twin flame dynamic okay you mirror each other for trust the signs you're sending them signs too i get and also i get that this is like a mirroring relationship where you guys see a lot of each other a lot of yourselves in each other okay so he he or she whatever they know what sign to send you because you would maybe probably even send the same sign it's like you might think of the same artist and send it to them energetically and they'll send you the same exact artist and the same exact song because you guys reflect each other. All right, that's beautiful. So I definitely feel like you're very connected emotionally during this Cancer New Moon to somebody. So let's get some messages from the Moody Moon Masculine and Moody Moon Feminine. Where Where's this person at? What's going on with them? Okay, this is my deck. I actually just created a second edition to this because I wanted more moods from the Moody 
moon masculine. So let's see, where is this person at? Confident, self-assured, bold, and balanced. That might be why they're finally coming forward with an offer because maybe they weren't confident in the past, okay? So now they're a little more confident about themselves. They're a little more confident about the connection, okay? So let's see your energy here. What is inspired, feeling alive. They might also be feeling like you're feeling a lot more emotionally connected to them. So they feel more confident to come forward. They might feel like you're in a really good vibration. You're feeling alive. You're feeling happy. And they feel that it would be a positive outcome if they came forward to you. Okay. So what else is going on with this person? Self-focus, masculine energy, and self-care. Maybe they did a lot of this, and that's why they got to the point where they feel confident. They took care of themselves. They got into their own energy. They got into their dominant masculine energy that they needed to be in to come forward to you, okay? Where are you at? On edge, get me out of here, all right? So... There might be a situation that you feel like you need to get out of or almost like you want them to come save you in a way. Um, and maybe like that masculine energy is almost like you might feel like a damsel in distress and you're like, please take the focus off of you and come get me out of here because I'm really frustrated, okay? So there is a part of you that's feeling alive. You might just have that Aries energy where you're so inspired and you have so much energy in you that you need to get moving. Maybe you feel really stagnant where you are okay so let's get one final message from them of where they're at courageous this person's in a really good vibration i feel like they've taken care of themselves a lot they're more brave than they were before they've you could even be dealing with a leo because we have a lion here but doesn't necessarily have to be but they've grown up to they were once a kitten and now they're a lion and they're ready to come forward i really get that feeling that this person has gained a lot of confidence to come forward with this dynamic okay then we have self-care. Wow, with you. You guys both are mirroring each other so much this is since the beginning of the reading. So um, this is also what you need to do too when you feel like you can't, you're jumping out of your skin, you don't know what to do. This is a sign to, this is how you can help yourself is through self-care. And the more you do that, the more I feel like this person will come forward, okay? All right, so let's get some more messages from them. See, what else does this person want to say to Aries, okay? I already had two of these come up. I secretly hope to run into you whenever I'm out and about. So this person really wants to connect to you in the physical. I feel you guys are very spiritually and emotionally connected at one point, and they're just really hoping already to see you. When can I see you again? I know that we fight because of the intense passion between us. So maybe you guys had a fight. Maybe you guys... Um, had this separation, but this person recognizes it's because of how strong your feelings were for each other, okay? I wish things would have gone differently between us. So um, this person has some regrets. I feel they definitely want to make things right, though, because we have that energy with the Page of Cups, okay? So I'm going to pull from the waiting game from Angelic Revelation 144 and get some messages about these. Secretly hoping to run into you, Honeymoon. I feel this person wants to have another phase where things were really good, maybe in the beginning, okay? I actually feel this goes with this. I wish things would have gone differently between us. Maybe your honeymoon phase ended really quickly and they want to get back to that, okay? Check social media. Yep, this person is definitely looking to see what you're doing on social media. They have intense passion for you. They've already said that, okay? So... And this just came out, I will call you. That's what I'm saying. You're definitely going to hear, make contact with this person, all right? They're still staying connected to you. And because they can't see you in the physical, they're checking you on social media. This is like a very clear message. And they're going to call you because that's what's been coming up since the beginning of this message. All right. So my last thing I'm going to do is some advice for you guys from my Divine Feminine. What should you do? What are some advice for Aries? regarding life, love, everything going on. Some of these might be random, so have compassion for your masculine, okay? So 
when he does come forward and he does apologize, don't be too hard on him. That's the message I'm getting here, okay? Because I do feel like at some point, even before he comes forward, to send him love and to send him compassion, okay? Kundalini yoga for your sacral chakra, okay? So maybe some of you guys have some sacral chakra issues, maybe some yoga to release it. That's like the, that creative sexual energy because when you do see this masculine, you don't want to get right into that unless you feel really safe, okay? So that could be a way to harness that sexual energy. Pay attention to the numbers on the clock. What did I say at the beginning of the reading, guys? 11 11 they're sending you signs that's just not just the clock that's any kind of spiritual signs they're sending you because this person is letting you know whether they come forward or not they are staying connected to your energy and they're sending you signs in the spiritual realm okay so um these are your messages i hope this reading resonated with you aries and thank you guys always for your support and i'll see you guys soon bye